<gasps> Blessings of Wellness, Chris Kendall from the RawAdvantage.com, registered holistic nutritionist, raw food lifestyle coach, and raw chef. Today I'm going to bring you a review of FYF, Free Your Feet, Barefoot Socks. Baby, I like it raw. Raw Advantage likes it raw. Ooh, baby, I like it raw. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. All right, so I just got these suckers in the mail. I had researched them a little bit. They seem pretty cool. I cut my foot really bad surfing on my fin, and I thought, why not give this a try? They're basically a next to nothing barefoot sock made 46.5% of Dyneema, which is said to be the strongest material on earth. I think 14 times stronger than steel. The rest of it is PA Lycra 53.5%. So they're advertised as very comfortable form-fitting, the most minimal you can get, and almost like wearing, you know, minimal soft chain mail on your feet. Now they're not puncture-proof or abrasion-proof, but they're puncture and abrasion-resistant. So I thought they'd be really neat, especially if I'm surfing on corals, an alternative to booties and stuff like that. Not that I want to try and touch my feet there, but if they hit, to be a little bit of protection. So I'm gonna unpack them, try them on, and uh, hopefully get some footage of me surfing with them, and I'll let you know after a couple weeks of using them what I think. Well, they feel pretty good. The real test is gonna be wearing them outdoors on some soft surfaces. Apparently they're not designed to be on asphalt or rock trails or anywhere with really sharp objects like glass or you know, sharp shells, stuff like that, but soft grass, soft trails, beaches, on a surfboard, but not a surfboard that has rip tape, so no skateboards. So, I'm not supposed to use them on a scooter, I might use them on a scooter on the way to the beach. But uh, we'll give them a try. Let's see what we think. Yeah! So I'm out here at Old Man's, I'm gonna give the socks a try. Now this isn't really much of a reef break, but it's my last morning in Bali and I really wanted to try these out. So I'm just gonna see how they feel in the water on the board and give you a report. First impressions, they don't they don't hold a lot of weight, they feel a little bit funny, but not quite, quite like if you're just wearing regular socks in the water, so I'm gonna get this surfboard and give them a go. Alright, here's my big banana. I sold my surfboard, so I'm renting this medium kind of longboard today. Let's go for it. So I was just out there for about two hours and you know, medium waves anywhere from waist to about seven feet tall. Had a heck of a lot of fun and the reasons why I definitely like these and reasons why I definitely don't. So the reasons why I do, they're really, really grippy. Uh, so in some situations that can be a really good thing but that's also a bad thing because sometimes when you want to move your feet a little bit more it actually felt like my feet were stuck and it was challenging. So if I wanted to get all like gnarly and hang ten brother, it was actually challenging. I was trying to move my feet and walk the board since I was on a long board having fun and it was kind of challenging. But on a short board, medium sized waves, you know, if I'm over top of a reef, that's another thing I like about it. It's not puncture proof, it's not abrasion proof, but it definitely would give you an extra skin of protection if you're on top of sharp reef or on top of rocks or they say, you know, they're again, they're not puncture proof. So if you step on an urchin or on a sharp, sharp shell or glass, you could cut it, but you're going to save your skin. So for protection, really nice. It actually felt really good when standing on the board. I really liked it. it felt a little bit weird when I was paddling or when I was giving that last kick to get into a wave. It feels a little bit weird on the concrete. It actually feels a teeny bit like chain mail. Overall, certain conditions, I would definitely wear them. Other conditions, I wouldn't. The one big reason that I'm kind of wary of them, actually, is they almost fell off on one of the bigger waves. I fell in, and all of a sudden, my right foot is halfway off to my toes. They're 100 bucks. It sucked to lose them in the water. And while they do have, like, the ankle highs, I probably wouldn't wear them surfing myself. You know, maybe I'm just a little bit too fashion conscious. I don't think so. You see me wear my whole star trick here. I don't know, maybe I'd go for them, but these ankle ones, they feel a little better, but you're gonna maybe risk them falling off. So, all in all, for me, short board, over reef, medium to a little bit over head high, maybe double head high, I'd probably be the biggest I'd wear them. Otherwise, serious risk of them falling off, and maybe, you know, not gonna be as easy to be maneuvering and walking around your board, or otherwise just shifting back and forth when you're on a bigger wave. So, that's my honest review. I give them probably, for their weak points, a 5 out of 10, for their stronger points, maybe a 7 out of 10. Maybe better than just regular booties, 
Tell me what you guys think, comment, subscribe, and check out more of our raw food videos all about the benefits of a raw food diet, different health and fitness tips, and tons of simple raw vegan and low fat raw vegan gourmet recipes. Wishing you much. Peace, love, and seasonal fruit. You know, I do gotta say, I'm really impressed with how fast they dry. Pretty much once I squeezed them out after washing them in clean water, you wanna do that every time, they're almost 100% dry. In front of the sun for probably 10 minutes, they'll be perfect. Ready to pack, they come with the wrong carrying case. Pretty neat. Second update on closer inspection. Quite a few of the dots, the little sticky dots, have already come off just with one use. Not really a good thing, because once those are gone, there's a lot less grip. So that's something to realize. Those grip dots do not stay on well at all. Free your feet. Minimalist chain mail for your feet. Awesome. Don't forget to check out my newest video on the top left, the video just for you on the top right. Subscribe to the channel on the bottom right, your two free ebooks in the bottom left. Grab my free iPhone app, comes with 50 free recipes, common fruit and vegetable calorie breakdown, a food combining chart, shopping cart function, and much, much more.